Good day, everyone. I am Ariel Cello Esrolliado, a third-year student taking up Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education, major in Industrial Arts. Today, I'll be going to discuss the first topic that I've best learned through the semester and add 305 Assessment of Learning 2. This topic is from Chapter 1, Summative Assessment. Summative Assessment Introduction Summative assessments are used primarily to document student performance, to monitor and record student proficiency, to give students grades, to report to parents, for selection and to special programs, for conferring of honors, for establishing a record of performance, for accountability, as evidence of student learning to evaluate teachers, for college admissions and employers. So what is Summative Assessment? Summative Assessment is an assessment administered at the end of an instructional unit in a course. So a type of evaluation that judges the worth of the task by the end of program activities. Summative assessments are given to students at the end of an instructional period. They are evaluative rather than diagnostic and are used to measure whether a course's learning objectives were met. Unlike formative assessments, Summative assessments are formal and involve clear instructions, expectations, and grading rubrics to measure student comprehension. So the purpose of summative assessment. The goal of summative assessment is to evaluate student learning at the end of an instructional unit by comparing performance to a standard or benchmark. So they are often high stakes, meaning they have a high point value. So the advantages of summative assessment. First, to know if students have understood. The summative evaluation follows certain strategies for evaluation by means of assignments, tests, projects, and more. By these ways, the teacher can make out if the students have learned and understood the subject. Second, they determine achievement. The usual procedure is that summative evaluations are done at the end of any instructional period. It could be a semester, a grading period, or a year-end period. So thus, summative evaluation is considered to be evaluative in nature rather than being mentioned as diagnostic. So they make academic records. The results of summative evaluations are ones that are recorded as scores or grades into students' academic records. They can be in format of test scores, letter grades, or report cards which can be used in the college admission process. It provides opportunity. The presence of summative evaluation is a motivator as it assesses the individuals as offers them an opportunity to develop a learning environment. So this is an evaluation meant for learning and is based on the outcome. It also boosts individuals. The outcome of summative evaluation is considered as boosting factor when it's positive. With this type of evaluation, confidence is boosted. boosted. Like for example, when a student um, get I got a higher grade, so meaning that his or her confidence 
will be boosted because of the positive evaluation or the positive result. So weak areas can be also identified. So with the help of summative evaluation results, trainers and instructors can find out weak areas where the results are steadily low. So by this way, alternative methods can be utilized in order to improve the results. New training can be followed for future events focusing on the success. The disadvantages of summative assessment. Rectification is late. So the main disadvantages of summative evaluation or the sense it focuses on output at the end. In case there are hindrances or difficulties, the learning process at the end can be tough. There is no chance to recover as the results are at the end. Next disadvantages of summative assessment is disruptive. Since it is being a single test at the end of the complete session of academics, it makes almost all individuals anxious and disruptive. They face the summative evaluation with nervousness and fear. No remedy is another disadvantage of summative assessment. Nothing is done to identify hindrances or challenges well in advance in a summative evaluation. Instructional issues are not identified until they blow up and become critical. And these are the examples of summative assessment, standardized testing, and final exams, and many other things. And these are my references.